Big D is becoming the big chill. The weather forcing the airport to close for a time and making roads into ice rinks. But at least the game will be played indoors. That won't be the case, though, in three years when the Super Bowl will be played outdoors at the new Meadowlands Stadium in Jersey. So to find out what the weather might be like in the New York area, say in 2014, we turn to AccuWeather meteorologist Bernie Reno. Well, well, the NFL is taking a calculated risk. It's not 100% that they'll have cold and snow in the middle ends, but it is a risk. I'm going to show you why here. Typically during the month of February, this is what the jet stream looks like. And remember, the jet stream is what transports storm systems and air masses. And we typically get a big dip in the jet stream, which allows cold air to pour down into parts of the Midwest and the Northeast. And with cold air coming in across the interior parts of the United States and warm air or warm water off the East Coast, we typically get storm storm systems attract north northeastward and that's the danger for cold and a snowstorm however that's not the average. In fact, average temperature in East Rutherford, about 30, 40 degrees, let's say. That means if we have a typical weather for February 2nd, 2014, we're looking at a kickoff of about 36 degrees, winds out of the west northwest, 10 to 20 miles per hour, and real field temperatures in the 20s. Now, if we go over the last five years, look what's happened. Hasn't been all that bad. 34 degrees last year, a little bit of snow, by the way, I'm projecting today about 36 degrees at around 6.30 if the uh, Super Bowl was today. Uh, back in the uh, 2009 and 2006 temperatures were in the 50s. We did get a little bit of rain 2007. So last five years, normal, not all that bad. As far as extremes, well, this is what's happened over the last 44 years. The warmest, 57, February 2nd, 1988 and um, 1973. The coolest or coldest, 16 in 1971. And I can tell you over the last 44 years, we have a 5% chance on February 2nd of getting snow and a 14% chance of getting some rain. So all in all, the NFL is taking a risk but the odds of getting a snowstorm and getting extreme cold on February 2nd isn't all that great. Now, I do have a prediction for you, Will, and this is an unbiased solicitation. Oh, boy. Green Bay 31, <laughs> Pittsburgh 17. Don't worry <laughs> about the Packers' defense. They have Shields. They have Tremont Williams. They control this game. Aaron Rodgers will beat the Steelers just the way Brady does. He's going to throw the ball. By the way, this does not represent AccuWeather.com's feelings on the game. My boss is a Pittsburgh Steeler fan, unfortunately. So I may be cleaning out my box, Will. Bernie, I like the disclaimer, and I also like the cheese head. Thanks, my friend. My pleasure.